He's awake. He's awake. He's a little girl. He's a big little girl. You are. That's right. You. That's you. Where's Daddy? Where's Daddy? There he is. Grown-ups can be such weirdos. This is my dad. Sure, he likes me now, but he won't always like this. He's just found out he's gonna have me. <laughs> gonna be a dad. Not exactly jumping for joy, is he? I'm just joking, just jokes, isn't it? I'm in trouble. It's Sophie. No, and I told you I don't want to hear about her no more. She's pregnant. <laughs> no way. I don't know what to do. Mate, you gotta run. What? Get out of it. This stuff will ruin your life. I'm serious. I'll be saving up in it. Got a stash now. It's more than a thousand quid. Get us on a plane ticket out of it. Start somewhere else. Where would we go? Who cares? America, Spain. I got a friend in Perth. In Scotland? Nah, Australia. You could be surfers or whatever. I won't let this girl ruin your life. She probably did it on purpose to manipulate you, like. Girls do that kind of stuff. I'm here representing London, UK. And I came to drop yes. this track for you today. Okay? Yes. You are I'll be the first to say. Address me as Mr. For what I gotta say. So you can get the picture right and choose the other way. Mysterious. I, I get it right, London on the map. In case you didn't locate it right. There's appetites for yachters and confusion all amongst us. Beyond us, serious, but we're blinded by the bunches. I try to get in between it. I'm figuring out the scenes. The means I can't find, but I'm talking about the teens. The boys are getting locked up. The girls are getting locked up. Avenues get congested. Nowhere to run because it's locked up. The situation's crazy now. We need to fix up. Because right about now, the man is looking like a piss up. A daycare center. My name is Samuel Bennett. This is my letter to people to hopefully turn out better. Now listen up. There is no way I'm living in that dump. And I thought being a baby was dirty. Hey Ryan, sorry about today and that. It was... My brother went a bit mad. I didn't want it to be like this, so, yeah, I guess you've got to tell your dad now. Good luck. I've got something to tell you. You know how you always liked Sophie? Sophie? Sophie. Well, good news. Good news. You're going to be a granddad. Granddad. I'm going to be a father. <sighs> a better one than you. That's quite a mess you got yourself into. Thanks for that. But what matters is what you do now. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Ricky reckons I should leave the country. This could be the make of you, Ryan. As a man, as a person, you have to do the right thing. I don't know what that is. You stick by her. You give her whatever she wants, whatever she needs. Why is it all about her? What about what I want? What if I don't want a baby? Why don't I get a What are you talking about? It ain't about what you want. You already did what you wanted and it got you into this mess. And there's a child involved. <laughs> and your life ain't gonna be about what you want anymore. You, you gotta step up. Take responsibility. Like you did.
ignoring me is going to make this go away. I'm not. I don't know what to say to you, Sol. I don't want to be a dad. I just don't. And everyone thinks it's my fault, like I did something wrong to you. I know. I have something to show you. Can I come in? Just for a minute. So what is it that you want to show me then? Is it porn? <laughs> nice one, Dad. That's our baby. It doesn't look anything like me. Are you sure it's even mine? <laughs> Sorry. I... I don't know what to think. You know? Me neither. I don't know if this is the moment where Dad really understood he was going to be a father. It's so hard to know what grown-ups are thinking. But I like to think that seeing me for the first time, even when I look like an overgrown tadpole, made a difference. It was the start of something. The start of me and my dad. <laughs>